Everybody get up, it's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down. Look, our oh crap, this is Space Jam, Space Jam. It is Saturday and I still suck at Space Jam. All right. Sloosh! Got him. What's going on, everybody? DJ Go <laughs> What's up? DJ Goham here. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. If it's not Saturday for you, well, happy whatever day that is for you. Oh, my goodness. We are all over the place. We got to drive like normal. Oh, I don't know what I did, but I turned up something in my... Slow down. <laughs> What's up, guys? I hope you are having a great day today. Yes, yes, yes. We're making some money. Let's look at the thing. Wheat prices at the top. Barley prices at the top. Corn prices at the top. What are my prices at the top? Wheat's going up. Barley is crap, but we're going to sell it anyway. And corn is good. Corn first. <laughs> and uh, the good thing is, since we got our new trailer, we don't have to call anybody anymore. Well, we're going to have to call the Goham Co. And they're going to have to bring over a truck to help us sell our wheat. There's no way around that. We just got too much daggum wheat. But we we definitely... Ooh, wow, just kind of like drifted this thing. Goodness gracious. We are going to have to call in a little bit of a favor to get that wheat sold. Because we got just too much of it. We just got too much. At the time of recording, the update for Lone Oak Farm has not come out yet. However, it is not far away. See, so it means corn. We... Ooh, that's... that's that is, uh-uh, that's not centered. We, we gotta center that. That is not appropriate. Hang tight. We did go with the ugly white. If you guys are curious what color we went with here, we went to ugly white. Yeah! So when we get this corn sold, where are we going? Agri XJS. Well, where is Agri XJS? It's right up here. Boom, baby. So that's where we're going. Let's fill up. Let's get some sold. Let's see how much money we gonna make. I will say this truck looks a little small for the trailer. Yeah. Gonna have to do something about that. Let's see how much money we make on this corn. We may do something about that this trip. It's either that or we're gonna have to get rid of this trailer. It's just a little too... Um... I'm not sure if hilarious is the right word, but it just doesn't look right. It's just too small. It's just too small. I gotta tell you, this trailer may be a little big for, for this map. All right. What are we making? We're down to 40. We are down to 30. We are not down to 20 yet, but now we are 20. 10. Five. Boom. 87,000. Booyah. Yep. I'm thinking this trailer is just a little too large for this map. And... Uh, see, the, the truck's great. It does a good job. Let's see. I'm just curious. If we sold this truck now, I know we're not going to be making a whole ton on it. Because this truck's like two years plus old. Okay, 80000 Not awful. How much is a new truck? Um, probably we would have to go with the barrel core. So all these down here, they're not out of reach. They're just not quite right. Um, could go with a Legend. Just, that's way too big for this map. Um, 850 still is just a little too big. I'm thinking we can go for a TX 415 a barrel core. How much would it cost to hook this up for us? $175,000 200. Well, it would definitely get us from point A to point B a lot easier. So that way, in this way, we're going to spend about a little under a hundred grand to get a new truck. Which means we're going to be back down to 260. Which means we're going to have less than we did when we started. Ooh, it's a tough, 
It's a tough decision, isn't it? Uh, how about this? Let's continue to get a few things sold. The only reason I'd be getting rid of it is because it looks kind of funny. I'm not having any issues pulling it. So, I think for right now, we just head back to the farm and we get a load of barley and we get that sold. And then uh, we call in our truck from Goham. We'll see if they have one of those barrel cores. Maybe we can give it a test drive and see what it's like. I don't know. We'll book up with that. We'll see what we can do. It is so hard to drive through and then hit record. <laughs> I was going so fast. We want barley. Yes. Barley. Fill them up. Where are we going with barley? Again, same place. Back to AgriXJS. It's just best prices are up there. Well, right now, I mean, best prices for canola and for wheat are at Lone Wolf. Actually, Lone Wolf has hit its peak. So we are good to sell at Lone Wolf. Okay, good to know, good to know. And we're going to need the Goham Co. to come and bring us a truck and a trailer. We're going to order a BSM trailer and we're going to order the Barrel Core truck so we can see it, get used to it, see if we like it, see if it's something we want to keep. Like I said, this truck does just fine, but we have used this truck on our past two or three, I believe it's our past three Let's Plays. It's time for a change. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for a change. Let's get back. Let's see how much money we're going to make off this. And let's head back to the farm because we got a delivery coming. How much are we going to make? Well, first off, we got to repair a truck. <laughs> and not in a farm sim way, in a we just crushed it way. See, I just don't see the barrel core getting in and out of here. Not comfortably, anyway. I mean, this... This can and does do a good job, but come on, man, <laughs> you know? Let's see, Dumperino, what are we going to get down to 30? Oh yeah, down to 20. Come on, come on, come on. Go with me, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my gosh, can't even keep up with it. 74,651. Very cool, very nice, very awesome. One more stop. And DJ Goham Co. is about to arrive. It's like Christmas every time DJ Goham Co. comes around. And I love that. Let's do it, baby! Oh, baby! The Goham Co. has arrived and they brought us a truck. Now, here's ours. Okay, take a look at it. And then here's the one that they brought us. It just... Oh, it's so much bigger and looks so much cooler. And it's, it's a lot... It's a lot longer. It's it, it is much longer. These are both parked up about the same. Actually, the, the other one's way ahead. And the trailer starts about right there. I think. Let's go from here, take a look. I mean it's just much, much longer. And back this up a little bit, and lined up just perfectly. That's about right. That's about right. And you can see, like, this is only, like, halfway back on the truck. It extends it so much. Let's take a look around the inside. Not bad, not bad. It is a sleeper. It's got a door. Start her up. Oh, yeah. Now, she's... Ooh, we gotta be careful. We're gonna speed through here. Now, this will go about nine miles an hour faster. So not only is it more powerful, but also it will go much quicker than the one that we have. And they were super nice. I'm surprised that they were so kind as to send one of their big trucks over. That is really, really, really cool. You ready for a cough counter? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, cough counter one. Nice. Now let's fill this up. It is taking a hot minute, but let's fill it up. And then we're going to drive it down. And we're going to see how nice this thing is to drive. Oh, I hope it's good. Onward bound. Again, I've said it. It just looks so good. This truck looks awesome. I don't know why I don't use it, but we need to use it. I know 
farms this size don't normally have trucks like this. Also, I'm barely pressing the gas. Let's gun it. Foot's hard down. She's driving like a diesel, all right. That's for sure. Oh, baby. Now, if we were to get one of these, we are going wide tires. I am not going with these standard little skinny things. We're going to blow this truck up. That's what's going to happen. And actually, what we might try and do is we might try and sneak it and just see. No, you know what? I'm not even going to sneak it. But I do have my mind made up. We are going to buy one of these. Definitely. Look at the interior. It just It looks so good. That tan. Oh, man. It's a, I'm guessing this is supposed to be, is it a Freightliner? Is that right? In game, it's, I think it is supposed to be a Freightliner. See, I was worried about this not being able to maneuver. But at least with, uh, at least the way it is now, this is maneuvering pretty daggum good. Now, we would not go with black. We would go for ugly white. Unfortunately, I know, I know. But the black looks so good. It's not our color. Lone Oak Farm is ugly white. Go Hemco, all black. That's just the way it is. There's nothing we can do about it. All right, spread her legs. 51 miles an hour, there it is. How's the brakes? Not too bad, not too bad. Brakes are, brakes are decent. Now can we crank this? All right, I am gunning it, just so you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner. Cruise control is set. It is pedal to the metal. Pedal to the floor? It's down there. Pedal to the... I mean, pedals are down there. Deck on. Excuse you. Jerk. <sighs> well, I guess it's been said in Farm Sim 19 that uh, traffic will not be changed. So that kind of stinks. All right, can we maneuver around? We're gonna have to back up, pull forward a little bit, it's all right. Can we maneuver around enough to get this in here and not have any problems? We are gonna go side by side with these. There we go, swing them wide. We gotta go back to the farm and get our other guy too. So we're gonna dump them at the same time. Boom, baby. Okay, let's turn that off. Back to the farm. Let's get our other truck. We'll see you back over here in a second. Yeah, here we go, here we go. I have done a lot of thinking on the way here, and I'm not sure that I want to buy another truck. The, you know, we only use it when we deliver. And when we can't do it, the Go Ham code comes and helps us. So we need to hit right on the D-pad, okay? Right on the D-pad. Dump. Right on D-pad, dump. Oh, that's going to go slow. None of matter. We got all the time in the world. We got a double dump going on here. If you're not curious what a double dump is, it's when two people... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, no, that's weird, isn't it, though? Hey, let's take a picture right here real quick. These guys look good together. Click. Come back here, take a look. Yeah, he's getting his single dump on, but we're still getting $1,404 per. And keep in mind, we only have soybeans left. We've got some grass in storage. We've got almost 200,000 liters of grass, which is way more than we could ever want. Yo, I didn't even realize how fast our money's going up right now. Yo! Over 600,000. We have not been over 600,000 uh, in the game yet. Man, that's so cool. There's so much I want to do and so much I want to spend that on. Um, but I don't know what. Uh-oh. So we got to take this truck back up to the... Mm, come on now. You're trying to make me rage quit. Goodness gracious. We got to take this back up to the store, drop it off to the DJ Go Ham, or not DJ, just the Go Ham Co. We appreciate you letting us rent a truck from you today. You're very kind. We are moving along 51 miles an hour. We're going to have to get this up there. Go! <laughs> All right. 
Let's head back to the farm and let's count our winnings. As I said, I believe we're gonna keep this truck at least for now. I know it doesn't fit this trailer, but we're only using it, well, we're not really using it that much, honestly. We're just using it for sales and that's kind of it. I mean, we could f be completely honest, we could get rid of this trailer and this truck. We could sell both of them. But you got to have at least one, right? Got to have at least one. You got to show some effort and say, hey, you know, go ham co. I don't need you to bring me three trucks. <laughs> I've got one. But now we've got a larger, larger trailer. So we can do a lot with that. And with that, don't, I'm not, I'm not saying goodbye. Don't worry. Um, now we need to talk about our tractors, what we have, what we need as far as animals goes. Can we use one of these tractors and use it successfully when moving around bales and that kind of thing? The only way to know that and to say like, okay, yes, we can definitely move that around. Let's, let's fill this bad boy up. Bad boy. Bad boys, what you want? What you gonna do? I keep saying bad boys like all day yesterday, all day today. I got no reason for it. There we go. Nice. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head into tomorrow, into late winter. And I think either spring one or late winter is when we're going to buy the cows. Because we're ready for them. We are ready for the cows. We have silage. We have straw. We have hay. We have grass in here. I mean, we're we are ready for the cows to be in this thing right here. So I've seen many people posting about how the manure just like piles up here. So I'm interested to see how that goes. Unfortunately, we are not going to start with much. We're only going to start with a few cows. Nice. So cows are not there. Cows are down here. Do 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 do. Okay, so right now is when they sell for the best, and it looks like spring one is when they're selling for the lowest. So I'm hoping maybe spring one we'll be able to buy them for low as well. This says they're close to eight grand. That's oh, that's that's a lot more than I want to spend on cows. Um, let's see, six grand. Okay, not terrible. All right. Neato. Well, I will see you tomorrow in game for Winter 3. We'll see what we can get into. So the Goham Co. has been extremely grateful and sent over some really cool stuff. They sent us over a trailer, one of these guys, and they have sent us over a header trailer. Now, why in the world would they send us either of these? Well gonna tell you uh oh we're just digging in the ground Ooh, that's not good let's put that about right there we gonna sell something today head trailer okay i don't know what we're gonna pull the header trailer with Ooh, i haven't even thought about that yet crap we're getting rid of one of our buddies he's going to a better place this guy right here 7130 he's been absolutely incredible to us we're only getting rid of one of them but it's because we're getting something else we're getting something new and exciting we are selling the headers with it as well we are selling the corn header and uh, <laughs> both headers are going poor poor things I'm put that there for now and we got to go pick up our other header. It is super early in the morning, but the earlier we get this done, the better off that we are going to be. Where is our headers at? And we're going so slow, too. It's just, just unbearable how slow we're going. Not really that much fun. As you can see, our money has gone down overnight. And it uh, went down pretty significantly 
Uh, we've just got more stuff going on, and the sooner we can get these cows, the better off we are going to be. Because we're going to be not in as much debt as we are now. Well, we're not in debt. We've got $589,000. I think for most people, they'd be pretty happy with that amount of money. But we're not. Also, again, like I had mentioned at the beginning of this video, the new update has not come out yet. At least not for me. I'm recording this on Thursday afternoon. I'm trying to get a couple days ahead with these videos. Trying to record at least two Lone Oak every day for the next week. That way, when I'm out of town, uh, we'll be okay. I'm going to be out of town August 8th, 9th, and 10th, which is uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as well as the 13th through the 17th. So I'm going to be out of town for a good minute. Oh, too far. About right there? Eh, not quite. Let's back up. About right there? Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. This poor, poor thing. <laughs> oh, it's so sad that it's all going, but you know what? It's for a good reason. And it's going to a good home. I'm cool with that. Now, can we get this up here with the corn header? Um, oh gosh, I'm not even sure we're going to be able to get this up here. All right, well, we get it up here. Um... Yeah, no, it's that's not going to work. So we need... Let's turn that off. We need our truck. Where's our truck? Is it through here? I think it is. We need our truck because I know we've got a trailer. And I know... Aw, oh, man. Where's, where's the truck? I hate bumping over, but we just had to. Grab it, spin it around. Hit that 20 miles an hour. Oh, we're gonna go a little faster than that. So we're actually taking a <laughs> we're taking a little bit of a convoy over there. Oh man. I was planning on pulling the header trailer with the truck, but we're gonna have to put the corn header on here. Ooh, we are going way too fast. How are we pushing it? Just hook up. Thank you. Here's here's the big thing. I know the corn header's big. And I know in relativity, this trailer is small compared to it. But I'm hoping that we can slide it on here. I'm hoping. It looks like we're either A, going to be able to, or B, we're going to be pushing it. And it's raised up. Yep, it's raised up. All right. Are we going to push the trailer, or is this actually going to go up there? A little too far, actually. Uh, a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> How's about that? That's a little, uh, a little funny for you. All right. Now we're backing back up. Getting this up here. And it doesn't want to go. It says we're stuck. I don't believe it. I'm just going to gun it. Come on. Get up there. There we go. Once we're up here, we're fine. But it's... Oh, man. All right. I'm going to fight with this. We're just going to get it up here, and I'll see you when it's up there. Well, it's just not going to... It's just not going to be able to work. So we're going to have to drive this all the way up there and that's gonna stink that's gonna suck pretty hard so let's get this trailer returned let's get everybody up there let's get some stuff sold because we have some really cool stuff coming to us
We made it. Oh, I didn't think we were going to. Let's go and turn it off for the last time. It's unattached. The corn header that decided to jump around. So here is what we're selling. We can get a good picture of this, maybe. I don't know. It's it's pretty pretty bad picture line up here. We'll take it anyway, just in case. Ha! Just in case. I was just in a case. <laughs> All right, I will shut up. <laughs> Let's hit it. Well, bam. Repair. $211,000. Sell. Who's next? Diamond. Diamond. HS12. Sell for $24,000. And selling this 30, 20, 35, whatever. 27,947. 74 dyslexia dollars. Yeah, yeah. Now, we gotta buy some new. And since this is a case dealership, after all, we wanna go case. So we are going to skip everything, go straight to case. What do we want? Well, we're getting a big boy. We're getting a 9230. And we're going front twins. Bye. And we're getting a Draper header for it. Bye. We're not getting a corn header yet but my goodness look at this bad boy right here this is sweet we spent four hundred and forty seven thousand dollars but we got something sweet all right the sucky part about selling is you have to get stuff up here but the great part about buying is the shop will deliver to you. So let's have them deliver to us. So nice. Oh, that's so nice. Let's hop in. First person, let's take a look around. It's not much different on the inside, but got a little bit more room in the back here. All these nice controls, shells, but stuff. Yeah. And it goes the same speed. That's the only part that sucks. The part that doesn't suck is we now have a Draper header on here. So we can grab it, hook it up, and pull it. Very cool. Very cool. The only thing is now, where do we put it? <laughs> I got trailers everywhere right now. I got a trailer over there. The headers normally go over here, so I think for the time being, we're just going to put the header over here. Ah, oh, it's already getting dirty. You know what? That's okay. It's beautiful. I love it. Let's see how close can we get to this header. Pretty close. Drop it off there. And drop. Now, the good thing is, we're still in our first growth state. Uh... The ground never froze this year. This is... We have had two mild winters in a row. Which have been really nice. Speaking of really nice, let's make this all shiny. And just for fun, let's unfold it. Just to see what she looks like. Let's get these tires cleaned off here. Oh, yeah. Brand new... Fresh to death. We're really going to get our harvest game on now. We can get some stuff done quicker. If you noticed in previous episodes... So this is, what, episode 28? And... So it's taken us 14 episodes per season. But not really. This uh, <laughs> It's only taken us maybe 10, I think, to get through this season. It took us about... 15 to 18, I think, to get through the first season. There's just so much going on. We're going to be able to work a lot faster now. And we're going to be able to get stuff done much, much quicker. Let's take one more picture because she looks so good. There we go. So, 
that is going to be it for this video and that's going to be it for year number two the very end i thought winter was coming but it never came <laughs> so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop it a like if you have not already make sure you subscribe so you won't be able to miss won't be able to miss so you won't miss any more from lone oak farm from dj gohan two of them now baby yeah didn't need two large ones i just i wanted one and guess what we still got four hundred and six thousand dollars yep guess what else we still have soybeans to sell soybeans are going to be selling i think it's mid uh mid winter where they at summer midsummer everything else was mid winter so that's it drop a like if you did subscribe if you haven't uh, comment and tell me um, what your nickname is. Mine's DJ. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.